Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. Everybody doing this wonderful morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into my picks, let me get into my positive word. And my word for this fine morning is listen. Ladies and gentlemen, in life, we are told to listen to this and listen to that. But ladies and gentlemen, you have to be very selective in what you listen to. You know, within the first 30 to 40 seconds of a conversation, if the person is bringing value to you or it's something you want to entertain. Like if someone comes up to you and say, hey, I got a, a great idea for a business. You might want to listen because you don't really know what that person's talking about. But if the person say, hey. Let's go steal a car. You don't want to entertain it. So you don't need to entertain that conversation. So you don't need to listen to that. You know, so only listen to things that brings you value and things that can help you or things that are fun. Like if somebody say, hey, guys, I got an idea, man, we can go have some fun. You know, listen to it. But don't listen to everything because sometimes you'll get weighed down and bogged down by listening to the wrong people. So ladies and gentlemen in life have selective listening. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there with listen. All right, guys, so before I get into my picks, let me introduce myself. Guys, I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Statman. And guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatman.com. All right, guys, so yesterday in FanDuel, had a pretty decent day, did a 177. So that was that was decent. So today, just working on stringing together back-to-back -back days, having some consistency. Because in, in MLB, guys, this is your goal. When you create a lineup, you want to put guys on a lineup that you believe can get hits. And what will give you a great line is instead of getting two singles by a hitter, which will give you six points, you would get a double, a stolen base, and a home run. Then you got a 30-point game. Or you get a, a triple, he gets brought in, and then he gets a single. You know, so guys, if you look on your, your, your lineup at the end of the night, <clears throat> and every one of your players got a hit, but you didn't get any doubles and sink or um, triples or home runs. Didn't mean you made a bad a bad play because MLB is a home run steal double triple league. So if you had three hits and they were singles, you'll get nine points. But what if one of those hits went for a home run? So in MLB, that's why I recommend head to heads. Yesterday on DraftKings, I had a low score it was like a seventy point score, and then my opponent had a forty five. So. You always balance the head to head. So typically on a bad day, you can still break even in most cases because most people that play MLB don't know what they're doing. I would say 75 percent of the people. So if you kind of got a little skill, you could be all right. All right, guys, so let's get right into these picks. I don't want to waste a lot of you guys time. First off, I'm giving you price. Now, the Texas Rangers, they absolutely destroy right handed pitching because their top hitters are lefties. When you look at Cho, well, Gallo's on the injured list, Mazar, who typically bats cleanup, um, Odor, who is struggling, but he still can can hit well, and they got a couple switch hitters. But I think Price is going to get the top of the top guys out, so he has to worry about maybe Santana, you know, and um, Cabrera. But I think overall, I think he should have a strong day. All right, next, I'm giving you Jose Abreu. Now, I like Hap, but he's been getting absolutely destroyed by righties and Abreu is the best righty on this team I expect Abreu to absolutely go off I think he's going to get a home run he's my he's one of my favorite plays on the on this slate I'm gonna put him in all my line. I'm actually starting my lineups with Abreu guys and next I'm giving you Torres now this is not a numbers thing. You can't always look at batter versus pitcher. If you do that solely, you're going to lose 80% of the time because it's not just based on that. Sometimes you gotta go with gut and intuition. And I just think he's starting to heat up. And he hasn't had a home run in some time. And the Chicago White Sox pitcher, Nova, he's typically a ground ball pitcher, but sometimes he hangs balls directly over the plate. You put one over the plate on this guy, he'll give you a double a double home run run type game. So I think he's going to go off. And last but not least, the boomstick player of the night is none other than Puello. Now, Puello is a guy that is 
blasting the ball, guys. He has a over a 400 batting average, like a 450 batting average, three home runs, 11 RBIs. He's a righty. And everyone looks at Trout in this lineup. But since this guy, has, look, he hasn't been playing that long. Look at his numbers, guys. 41, 27, 18, 6, 6, 0, 30, 12.59. I think he's gonna go off in this game, guys. I, I don't I don't think he's gonna have like a 50 point game or anything, but I think he goes for over 20 points. He just makes contact and he's going up against a lefty. So I love this matchup, guys. So there you go. Price, Abreu, Torres, and Puella. Alright, guys. So that's it, guys. I am on to today. So guys, don't forget to win win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And ladies and gentlemen, don't listen to everybody because everybody is not worth listening to. Love you guys. Hey, everybody, this is Vaughn the Stat Man. And I just wanted to send a positive word out to everybody. I know that everybody that's watching this video, you want to be better people. You want to grow. You want to expand. And I know you want to be successful. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to have patience, you have to have persistence, and you got to be dedicated. You have to really go at it 100%. And you have to just take, a, take a, a leap of faith, ladies and gentlemen. Take chances. You're going to make mistakes, but make them big. If you don't jump, you'll never have success, ladies and gentlemen. And success is, 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 is something that we all can obtain. You have to see a goal. You write it down because then it put the onus on you to make something happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, just stay focused and you'll attain all that you desire. Love you guys.